All right, so this is an H grid circuit I've been working on, and I've actually been building it for this Peltier cooler right here because the uh, Peltier will actually get cooler when you go when you flow current from this red wire to the black wire, and it gets hotter when you flow it from the black wire to the red wire because it's a uh, the way the device works is that one side will get really cold, the other side will get very hot. So when I switch the current, it'll actually switch what size we're doing it. And that's why I have this uh, heat sink right here, and it's just a uh, heat sink like what you get off a of CPU when you get one, and this will actually allow it to get a lot cooler than it normally would. And without the heat sink, this thing will actually blow itself up. Now the H bridge uses these MOSFETs, and they're just um, they're IL IRL. 27 and 21, I believe, MOSFETs. Anyway, it's a very common MOSFET. If you search for, you know, hobbyist MOSFETs, that's what will pop up. And it's up in H bridge to allow the flow of current from one direction to the other direction. When, if I switch these inputs, it'll get colder. When I switch these inputs, it'll get hotter. And I can show you right here on the multimeter that the voltage goes negative. And I can show you the current draw. All right, so first I'm in positive direction. There with that, cat. All right, you can see there it's drawing one half amp, which is quite a lot. And right there you can see it pulling. All right, you can't see it very well, but that's seven volts. And this thing's actually getting pretty cool. All right, now let's show it in the other direction. So yeah, negative four, or negative three, and it's going to go up to negative four. It's drawing almost one and a half amps of current, and this thing is very hot. All right, now let's go ahead and swap it back so I don't have to worry about it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, hook up to a microcontroller with a temperature sensor, and control how hot this thing gets and how cold and also show you with the temperature sensor how um how hot how cold the thing actually gets all right and that should be it for now